here's just one of the reasons that you want to put cars together as far as you can bring yourself to do it. So if you are not okay with screwing with it after paint when it doesn't fit, then fit it before. That's pretty much our rule. So little stuff, I'll fight if I have to, but overall we like to pretty much fit the entire car. And these yeah. were sent out to get rebuilt. I'm pretty sure it was a couple grand and they don't quite fit. So this is not the exact style that it's supposed to have. This looks like factory. That looks like factory. That, yeah, true. <clears throat> So, I haven't seen the factory got, ones. We got the, the say... factory ones are smaller. But I do like the longer ones. But not quite like this. And them moving around like that doesn't help. But anyways, where these are grabbing on these little rivets that smashed in. So it's not letting it go back in. That's number one. These are also not quite perfectly lined up, so we gotta address that. What else? Those will be fine now. You think you'll once be able I, to put those where they yeah, need to be? I, I'm gonna uh, get those squished a little bit more, but yeah, these, they had, what did they have? They had these all holding them tight, and these stuck out. Oh yeah, true. Here. That's, yep. Here, I didn't do the bottoms yet. So these cause it to not be able to sit flush in there once it actually will be. So all these are in the way. Yeah. These all, little rivets that all, are popping through. All the rivets and these. So once the rivets are flushed out, these are going to prevent it from, from sitting. sitting flush. Yeah. So that's why Jesse now, flip it over, is using these guys. To hold it's about it my only option, right? Yeah, there's not many good options for this, and he doesn't want to pull all this apart. Yeah, I would have done it totally different. But, yeah, yeah. You know, so we're working with what we got. Yep. So we're going to use these, and these are going to keep it in place while also let it sit flush when we do get them put in. That's the idea, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is the idea, and uh, we're going to go with the flow. Yep. So that's why you fit these cars before paint. Trust me, we didn't always. No. This is a, this is a learning, this is a bite, biting ourselves in the ass yeah. for not doing this over. Even still, I mean, if you're not putting an entire car together, I'm sure on this, if I'm not putting all the glass in, all the seals, all the trim, everything, there's gonna be little things that we're gonna have to use all our experience to solve that problem. So if you don't trust yourself, you should probably fit the car fully together. <laughs> and honestly, more than once. More than once, yeah, because when you take them apart, if you have things under tension, so if it's squishing because you pushed too hard this way and too hard this way, you're never going to be able to figure it back out well, when you American go to put it cars, together. These American cars come with so much play, like, you know, at this part yeah. of the fender and then the end. So yep. then if you tweak this, then it'll cause the front to pop out or the bottom to go in and this yep. and that versus... Even door hinge angle, so like the hinges that bolt to the door will adjust the play this way. So the hinges on the door side, that'll change the angle this way. The hinges on the body side, you can change how far your gap is side to side but they both also do affect the other. So yeah, fitment's always fun. Always the fun part. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but we'll get that, we'll get it. I'm not gonna talk shit, just know. I've done these different. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we would have been fitting them as we went too. So they are very nice though. What? Looking. Yeah. But this pretty. It looks like what they painted the inside, back side. Yep. Yeah. I think I want to start doing that. Hey, you know what's cool? Like though? actually rebuilding these, people can send us crappy sets and we can make them nice and pretty you again. Know what's cool? What? You know what's cool? I know how to build them and you know how to paint them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
That's true. This kind of stuff, though. No, I could figure that. That'd take me two seconds. I guess that's I true. Know what I need to do. This is just, I'm not taking them apart. He has spent, what, three grand for me to take them apart again? That's a good point. How much sense would that make? Yeah, not many. Not much. So, this is almost ready for paint. So, obviously, I got a couple spots of spot primer. So right now I'm going around while Jesse's doing this and I'm doing final blocking with my linear block and 320. So I'm doing all that to make sure that I find everything. And then I'm gonna go through with the dirt block and hit all the edges and nooks and crannies. So by the time he's done, I should be done. And then- Maybe he's the same nuts all the way around. And then paint can be yeah I would recommend that and then paint hopefully this week So Jesse's got one side on. So we're flush up here. But then the side right here, it's rippled a little bit. So it looks like they maybe bent it outwards. And this is all one piece. So look, this is actually taped. The top part is a piece of trim, but the bottom, that's just a hard tape line. This is painted, so you can actually see it's got some stainless in here or it's chipped. And once we get this dollied, I think we need to hammer and dolly this edge to shape as best we can. I know stainless sucks to do that. Yeah, there's really not many other choices. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna try to hammer that, get that. So it almost looks like it was bent outwards. It doesn't look like it should have that drastic of a curve and almost a dent inside of it. Even these little bolts that they had, these little nuts and stuff are just hitting everything. Oh yeah, the edge of that. Yeah. Oh, you got this side sitting? Yeah. Well, once it it's screws in, will it, will it sit it's flush not, when it's it? It's not bolted. Okay. It'll sit flush when it is? Um, well, I haven't bolted it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll see. And see, this side looks like it's gonna be good once it sits flush, you see? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. And look, it is flat, yeah. So that other side definitely was kinked outwards for some reason. Look at how, look at that. That's so bad. See how that's pulled outwards? Yeah. Or inwards, I guess. It so. looks like it was damaged and then it just wasn't put in the right place yeah 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 i agree okay well let's keep going so we're gonna dolly this while he's doing that i'm just hitting my 320 doing my very final blocking so i'm going through hitting all the big areas with my linear block so i got that all finished now i'm going through by hand with one of these Hitting all the lows and all the areas that are a little too contoured to get it very flat with one of those without trying too hard. What are you doing? Taking your stage. I need that. I need to go buff the roof of the Impala. Okay. Your arms look good. That looks cool. <laughs> Got a pump on right now. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. <you> work out? <laughs> yeah. Got pump. My arms look red, don't they? Yeah, a little bit. Been working hard. So you think our gap's all good and everything? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, so hopefully this will be painted this week. If Jesse will ever finish. Dude, they need to pay me $3,000 next time to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how much those things were to rebuild. All right, so once these are bolted, we got good fitment, it's all flush. That's right, baby. Same thing with this side, it's pretty good right over here. 
that's about as good as we could get that. So we couldn't hammer this high spot out without making pins in it. So that's about as good as we can get. So as off as they were, I mean, they were bad. Yeah. This yep. is good. Yep. So. Yep. Everything's flush up against here. Every whenever we uh, put the bolts in the back. Yeah. Everything's gonna be the nuts. All right, time to spot prime this thing. Uh, we can now test fit the door locks and the handles yeah, and the drum just bolts. pop these in. Which one? The, the side, markers? side markers in the front and the rear just to make sure that we don't need to Dremel or anything around those. I think we'll be fine on those. But yeah, we'll definitely test those. I think we'll be fine on those. Yeah. those we do, I know for a fact we do need to Dremel these. Yeah, so they're new aftermarket, so they don't quite fit in those holes perfect. Um, so these also are new aftermarket. So we'll see. Look we'll at that now. I'm lying to myself, but I know I need help from everything that I do. So tomorrow is going to be real quickly hit it with 400. I need to block that, that, that. I did a coat of primer on that today just for some small little bodywork spots of icing. So tomorrow is paint time. We are all ready for the final sand and then can get this thing in the booth to paint. So I'm gonna hit this entire car with 400 grit on a DA with an interference pad or an interface pad, whatever you call it. So basically the foam pad to get any stray straight scratches. And we're gonna go real quick so that we're not putting no waves. So let's go. I gotta sit here for a second. Oh, you're good. Set up. Yep. So Nathan is here getting the interior laid in this 64 Impala for us. So this is one of the last steps that we have. So I did not trust myself with the carpet. So I called the expert in here to get it done for us. So yep, yeah, that should be in today. Coming back around. It's coming back around. 